welcome you all uh, today i will discuss finding the transfer function of somewhat complex circuits using mesh analysis okay mesh analysis so i will take a circuit which is from a book and then i will find the transfer functions uh, very easily actually we will not write all the mesh equations by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law that is KVL but we will use the inspections experience to write all the equations and then use the Kramer's rule to solve all the equations to find the solutions of the equations okay so this is how our circuit which we are going to solve will look like and here we have a voltage source and this is 1 ohm say this is 2 ohm say this is 1 henry and this is also 1 henry and this is a 2 henry okay and we have output from this terminal okay let's say blt and this is our input bit or say bt so we have the three mesh equations we will have three mesh equations here i1 current flows let's say here i2 and here i3 <coughs> now what we will how we will write the equations we will travel through a loop okay this is a, suppose this is a loop and we will light write uh, equations uh, let's say there is a r resistance r if you traverse in this directions then this will be r y1 okay and if we found any voltage source let's say uh, there is a voltage source okay okay this should be minus then only this current will flow but don't worry it's not meant we will get negative signs so this will be b equal to zero this concept we will use here okay or say b is equal to ri if this will be the circuit then actually b will be ri if where i will be positive and if we solve this here i will be negative okay so we will what we will do with this current all signs with this resistors impedances will be positive and with this it will be negative so if you write let's first let me that I'll first delete it so for the miss one we will have this i1 i into i1 so this will be i1 plus some of the all the impedances okay plus s into 1 so this will be s into i1 okay and now for the i2 i2 part this this is the common impedance so this will be with minus okay so this is into i2 and now we will look with the if there is any common part with the i3 so this is the common part this resistance so this resistance is multiplied with this current with negative signs and we will finding that with traversing in this loop in this directions we are having a source so this will be equal to b into s this also are capital letters because we are writing in the laplace domain okay so this is our first equations or you can write is i plus s into i1 minus s into i2 i3 is equal to bs so that is equation number one now we will use the mesh to in mesh to there is no voltage source so equal will be positive now we will write with the i1 i1 this is the common part so s into i1 will negative with a negative signs and now with i2 all the impedance and some of all the impedance inside this with positive sign so we have two ohm resistance plus two impedances so 2s into i2 and then with i3 we have this common so this will be 2 into 
I think actually I should must write capital equal to zero and now for the mesh theory that is this one we will write with this common I1 first mesh this is one drum resistance is the common so I1 1 minus 1 into I1 and then we have again negative signs because this is common with the lighting in loop 3 for loop 2 so this will be negative and then we will use to what is the common part 2 this 2 I2 and here will positive sign and so all the resistances so resistance is 3 impedance and impedance is 2s is equal to i3 so now you have to write the transfer function actually we are intended to solve this equation okay so the transfer functions will be transfer function will be v l s v l s divided by v s and now if you look at at this is the inductor then l d i l by d t is equal to b l f this is actually here i 2 i 2 so we need i 2 so we will find i 2 oh, that's all we need i 2 so from this equation i have to find the i 2 and using the relations if you take the laplace on both sides with the initial condition zero for the transfer functions so then s into l equal to bl into s and this is actually i2 also so we'll have to finally find the i2 now i am going to find the i2 so how we'll find the i2 we must remember that a into x plus b into y if equal to c and d into x plus a into y equal to k and then finding y we can simply write a d divided by c k divided by a into d into b into a this is nothing but the Kramer's rule okay so we will use this method to find this actually determinant of this matrix so here also we will do the same things okay and find that transfer function so how will you write for the i2 so for the i2 if you will write then we will have minus s sorry 1 plus s here this is 1 plus s minus if we this row will be replaced by the constant term last inequality sign after equal minus one <coughs> and then for this for the matrix two minus s zero minus two divided by minus one minus two three plus two s okay so this determinant divided by the matrix determinant system determinant so system determinant will be 1 plus s minus s minus 1 minus s <coughs> 2 plus 2 s minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 3 plus 2 s <laughs> now we will solve all the equations separately I'm going to delete this because we don't need any more these equations. So if we we'll solve these equations, so what we'll do we will expand it along so this is okay. Oh actually this is also zero. If you look then the second we have written correctly. So we'll expand along this, okay? So this will be PS minus and this is minus minus plus into so this will multiply this so minus s into 3 plus 2s and then <coughs> minus so this is the solution of the upper part and for the lower part we will expand 1 plus s into multiplied with this so this will be 6 this will be 6 plus 
फोर एस स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एस प्लस फोर एस सो दिस विल बी टेन एस एंड देन माइनस फोर ओके and then we will expand along minus s then minus s plus and then if you multiply then this will be minus 3s minus 2s square minus 1 okay let me write no minus 2 and then minus 1 into 2s 2s minus plus 2 plus 2s <coughs> okay now I'm again deleting this because I don't need any more this and this was actually i2 equal to this so now I will write i2 by vs equal to vs in this way you can solve okay so this will be minus uh, 2s square minus 3s minus 2 oh this is already taken here now if we arrange this i am not done i am doing here first time so this will be actually 4s square plus 10s plus 2 and we will again expand it then we will get uh, plus s into any pattern getting no minus 2 s square minus 3 s minus 2 minus 1 and nothing special we are getting so it's the, here we will get 2 s plus 2 here i think no pattern yeah something so in this way we are now this is a transfer function we can solve this equation i will not waste time here and now uh, what we will do i will multiply with s in 12 both the sides so we will get i2 by bs s into l equal to s into l what we got here and this denoter part here and this is nothing but the transfer functions of the this equations okay if you have the any complex circuits very complex circuits then we can use the MATLAB for the solutions of the matrix and this method is actually implied for solving the complex circuits so thanks for watching this was the mesh analysis in the next video if i will upload i will discuss about the nodal techniques okay thank you thank you very much for watching